In this demo, we'll look at using the IBM DataWorks Forge utilities in IBM Bluemix to move and filter data from one data service to another. In this case, we'll move data from DashDB, the data warehousing service, to SQL database, which is the DB2-based database as a service in Bluemix. So let's get started by logging into Bluemix. Next, we'll need an app. Let's just pick a simple Node.js app. Next, we'll need to add the services. So for this demo, we'll need three services. We'll need a DataWorks Forge. We'll need the source of the data, which is DashDB. And we'll need the target database, which again is SQL database. So let's go ahead and create these three services now and bind it to our app. So let's start with dash db. We'll skip restaging for now as we'll restage when all three services have been added. Now let's add SQL database. Again, we'll skip restaging until we get to the last service. Now let's add DataWorks. And now we'll restage the app as this is the last service that we've added to this app. So here we have our app with all three services successfully running. So now we should take a look at the credentials for Dash DB and for SQL database. We will We'll copy those off somewhere so that we can recall them when we need to actually connect to each one of these databases as we use the DataWorks Forge utility. So if we expand the details of our application, we can see that the credentials for dash db and for sql database are available to us there's dash db and there's sql database so we'll go ahead and copy those off to um, a text file so that we can recall this information as we go through the process of moving data from dash db to sql database using dataworks forge with our credentials saved we can now launch dataworks 
forge. Let's add the data source for dash db. We need to fill in the information that we saved off earlier, which contains the information needed to access our instance of dash db. So here are all my dash db credentials. Let's go ahead and connect. So let's go ahead and select a table from the dash db sample data. So we'll select the product table. Gives us a preview. And here you can see we have the product table selected. So we're going to go ahead and click shape. And in this example, we'll just do a filter on product type code. So we'll click the product type code column and select filter. And we'll select a specific value 961. As you can see, it has 90 rows. So that's finished. So now we have to select a source database, which of course is SQL database. And we'll add a connection. And then here we'll copy in our connection details that we saved earlier in a text file. So we select a schema and we'll give this activity a name. And there she blows. This activity has been kicked off. It's now transferring the data from dash db into SQL database as directed and applying the filter that limits it to <clears throat> those products with product code 961. And our activity is finished. You can see how long it took and what time it ran. And now we'll go ahead and look in MySQL database to make sure that the data actually was transferred. So if we go back to our dashboard and select our SQL database service, launch the console. So we'll work with our existing tables. So as you can see, we now have a table called product. And if we click on browse data, scroll down here, note that all the product type codes are 961. So our filter worked and our data transfer worked. And that's the end of the demo. You can read more about the capabilities of DataWorks Forge in the documentation inside IBM Bluemix. Thank you.